All right, welcome back in, everybody. Episode 23, The Jordan Number. So we brought in the GOAT. Now, I, I'm prepared to argue, but I know 23 is kind of a big deal. This episode is entitled Captain America is Real. Y'all might have thought it was a myth. You think it's a movie. I'm talking to someone who will be known as the baddest captain in the Army. She's been promoted since that time. But your legacy is what it is. And we are talking with Rosie Velez. How are you this evening, Rosie? I'm good. How are you? Hey, hey I'm excited. I'm <laughs> smiling. For those who won't be seeing this on YouTube, hopefully you can hear my smile. If you can't, I'm all grins. Rosie, this is a long time coming. There's some, there's some, uh, th there's some, some rumors that I need to find out about because, you know, I had heard that there were some things, which is how you got this reputation as being the baddest captain in the army. So we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. So Rosie, um, let, let's start off. Let's start off right here. What name Rosie come from? Is it the Cheeks? <laughs> where, where, where are we? We're starting with that. Where is Rosie from? Actually, I asked my mom last year when I went home. I actually asked her about it again because I'm from India. Okay. And my name is Rosie. My sister's name is Sophia. My older sister's name is Sonia. My brother's name is Victor. So I was like, how are we Indian, but we all got Hispanic names? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <And> I <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> so, yeah, I, my mom, I guess we grew up in Germany. So, I guess they just wanted us to kind of fit in, not yeah. have the traditional Indian names. Yeah. So, they, I mean, Rosie is a Indi name in India that's not too popular, but oh, they do have it. Maybe, maybe your mama had a subscription to Univision. <laughs> I that's what I was wondering. I'm like, where did that come from? The telenovelas was real. Mama was like, I'm caught up. <laughs> Long live Victor. <laughs> they killed him off in the show, but he'll always live in my heart and in my son's first name. <laughs> All right. But but hold on now. Hold on now. You said Indian, but you did say the first name, but that name Velez. Hold on, hold on. I don't, I don't know any Indians named Velez. Okay, so the last name came from marriage, so. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. I didn't, hey, your mom could have been all in. <laughs> she no. might have said, we're no. going all the way with it. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, I don't know what was popping off back when you was born in 1996, but maybe your mom thought that the Latino vote was going to be the way to go. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's uh, all right. So we're, we're, we're good on that. We're good on that. Hey, speaking of which, did, did you grow up speaking any other languages? You said German, Germany and like I spoke, I speak, well, I learned Punjabi first, the Indian language. Yeah. And then German and English. I learned some French here and there, a little bit of Dutch. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I know this happens to you, girl. And you know what? We are what we are. And I got to admit, this is who I am. Can you tell me how to say you are one cool person? How do I say that? In German? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do Why would I just leave that out there when you, you listed off a few languages? But yes, in German. Du bist eine tolle Person. Yeah. Du bist eine tolle, tolle Person. Person. Yeah. Do I roll that R? Yeah, you did good. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, yeah, you're... send me to Deutschland. I'm ready. When, 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 when's the next World Cup match? <laughs> I'm ready. Speaking of which, and it's in the states, so we're going to the game, to a wait, game. It's in the states. The next, where's it going to be? It's all over the country. Also, Mexico and Canada included. Oh, so which one do you think you would go to? You want to go up to Canada? You want to do it in Mexico or you so want to do no, Estados I'm, Unidos? They have they have a game at the Giants Stadium at MetLife, you know. Oh, 
go there. Legit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's hot. Who, who do you follow? The Giants. <laughs> oh, you talking about the soccer? Yeah. Yeah. I. You know what? I wish you wouldn't have brought up the Giants because I was going to be respectful. Okay. I, I was, I hey, was going to be respectful. Let's act like we didn't talk about that because we Okay. I'll give you that one time. You make another mistake, I'm all over. <laughs> so, no. I'll, of course, I go for Germany. I grew up in Germany. But yeah. I also support the U.S., especially if they qualify. I always hope they do good well. Yeah. But, you know, wait, wait, I haven't got far yet. I got I to gotta know here. What's that, what's that football game looking like for you? I mean, you grew up. You grew up in Germany. I'm. I'm gonna say you must be kind of nice. Nice in, in comparison to other Americans. In comparison to other Americans, how good? And let, let me help. She knew what I was talking about. For the rest of y'all, what's your soccer game like, girl? Mm, I used to be better. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I I played last season on a oh. coach here. I am old. I'm definitely old. Hold on. Hold on. I done played in some pickup intramural leagues. Nah, mama, I, I can tell you this. A, a lady from Germany who is in a career field that's all about fitness, something tells me you're the ringer. You're the one we want. <laughs> Not anymore. No. You ain't, nah, you ain't you playing that short. I'm you scared. Playing, of you playing me short on that. I know they was happy to have. They First of all, they asked you. It ain't like somebody's. Were their arms twisted, Captain America? Did you force people to be on that team? <laughs> no. And they asked you, am I right? Yeah, I was asked to. There it is. Boom. See that? That's yeah. right, y'all. This is what we this is a hard hitting podcast. She didn't know that, but I thought it was all gonna be sunshine and rainbows. But we're gonna let her be humble. We're gonna be we gonna keep it real on this podcast and, and real cocky. It's all right, girl. We yo, we Americans and Americanos. We are yeah. not good at soccer. We know that. So oh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I've been to a couple a little of bit above average DC United games, and it was it was it was rough. Oh. It was rough. Why'd you why'd you go to that game? Since I live here, I just, you know, decided to check out the games. Oh, it's so that's where she is. She's at the nation's capital. Was it, those were that's where we keep the think tanks. Oh, wait a minute. Are you a spy? Aren't you like <laughs> obligated to tell me? Because you're smart, no. you speak a lot of languages, you live in another country. <laughs> you like there's there's like Fables about you and your service, you're a spy. Don't you have to take me like if a cop's on the cover, they gotta say it, right? Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, they can way out of it. See, I watch too many movies. Yeah, you do. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a better I, world to live in. Don't judge me, Rosie. I'm too lazy to be a spy. I'd be like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> all right. If at any point, I start calling you super spy, Valet. <laughs> just, <laughs> just bear with it. I promise I won't overdo it, but it just some stuff is starting to come together. Okay, you know what? Let me let me, let me let me nah, I'm going back to the hard hitting. Do you have in your house a pet? I do. Is your pet a dog, a cat, a chameleon? A what do you have? I have two dogs. Hmm. What's the name of your dog, Walker? Dog Walker? Me. <laughs> okay, there it is. I got her. I think I got her. See that? See that, listeners? I outsmarted a spy. See, if she would have quickly answered, that means she's always gone in another country using all these languages, but not. She said, no, I'm, I'm out here getting my steps in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of dog? What, 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 what do you got? What does a, a big, bad, secure lady like you have? <laughs> Because I feel like that dog needs you to, to protect them. Nah, I got a miniature schnauzer. He probably does, actually. He's all scared. And then we have a, we just got a new dog. He's a doodle mix. I'm not sure yet what exactly. So I got to figure that out. Okay. I, I see what you did there. You got a, you got a German dog and then you hooked us up and you got us an American designer dog. Yeah, literally. You got a one foot over here, one foot over there. I see what you're doing there. Those who don't know, the schnauzer. They 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 take their dogs very serious over there in Deutschland. Yeah, and um, I'm telling you, I I love Schnauzers. I love them. Wait a minute, are you cutting that dog yourself, or are you taking them to PetSmart or something? What, what are you doing? 
Actually, my, I have a friend. She does it for me. Wait a minute. Now we're back to the dog sitter. See, she calls it a friend. <laughs> and she keeps saying, friend, come over here and take care. Of yeah, now I'm back. Oh, she is a side. All right. That's okay. You, you know what? I'm blowing your cover anyway. There's probably red dots peering through my window right now. Did you hit the panic button? You see? The FBI showing up my house. I'm going to blame you. I got drunk. Oh, they come and get you first and then they take me out because I know it, too much. Uh, I think they're only going to take me out. You're just an innocent bystander. Okay. <laughs> I like you, Rosie, and I done, I, done, I, done, I done contributed to your demise. Okay, Rosie, I know you got to go bag. Hop out the window now. Go, girl. <laughs> Don't let them get you. <laughs> See, this is why I can't be a spy. I'm not leaving this spot. Oh, it's nine o'clock on a Sunday night. You're done. You're in the house. Exactly. It is too cold outside. <laughs> oh man, this this is this is this is too much for me. I had I had an idea. I had no idea. But okay, Rosa, I gotta get back to I can get back to some stuff. You you distracted me. <laughs> Let's stay on task here. Let's stay on task. All right. Growing up, speaking all those languages, how did you keep it? Especially as long as you've been in in the United States. How are you keeping these languages up? How hard is that? It is getting hard, especially the older you get. Yeah. So you start forgetting words. But I try oh. to, you know, we try to travel still, try to go see my family and then talk to my family, talk to friends in different countries so they can, I can communicate still and keep it up. So you have multiple, uh, Frona, Frona, is that friends in German? Freunde. Freunde. So yeah. you have a lot of friends and family still over there. Yeah. So I, you know, I still have, I went to high school there. So. Oh. And, and yeah. God. Oh, I heard that like, we, we're like slow here in America and everybody's ahead of us. It, it help me out with that. Like in like third grade, did they start teaching y'all English over there? And then in like high school, were you already doing some kind of super math that I, I so, still ain't come to America? I'm not going to lie. So I did, when I did my associates in the States, Yeah, it was so easy for me. I'm like, I learned that in high school. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, uh, oh. the system is different, but it is, I wouldn't say necessarily it's better. It's just different. You learn in different stages. And what I like about the high school in Germany so they have it separated. Yeah. So they're not like, oh, everybody has to go to college here, right? Yeah. They don't have that because you can do, if you're like, okay, I know I'm not good in school. So for me, trade, trade, you know, trade school would better for me. Yes. Yeah. So only go to school till ninth grade and then you can start doing trading school or whatever. Oh. Or if you already know, oh, I want to be a nurse, then you do 10 years of, and then start nursing school. Yeah. And then if you are really smart and you love school, then you do 13 or 12 years, no, 13 years, and then you go to college. So it's not just one way, this is the way, this is how it's going to be. And if you don't make it, well, you failed. Isn't it true that Kindergarten started in Germany? Like, that's the Mecca. That, that is the start of it all. I mean, that's a German word. So, yeah. <laughs> but the thing I is, Kindergarten in germany is more like daycare here oh but they started when you're three and it goes for three years till you start first grade and um you you learn already you learn social skills you know little stuff here and there so wait a minute they starting at three and then you said there's like 13 years of school where we only got 12 here so let me do that math. Let me do that American math. Don't don't help me. Let me see, carry that one. So that the see, um. So yeah. So like sixteen, you could almost be done with sixteen or seventeen. You're graduated and done. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Okay. Let me help out some of the other listeners, and they're not gonna believe this one. Is it true that there are beer vending machines over in Germany? I don't think they have that anymore. Oh, have, now, now they clean up the act. <laughs> they have cigarette automat out of the cigarette machine still. 
Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Ain't nothing more European than uh, eating a croissant and a stogie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So my first car was a '73 Cadillac. I lived down in Virginia Beach. I'm a beach boy. I used to be a skateboarder. Did a little bodyboarding, uh, boogie board, whatever. I don't even know what it would be called in in Germany. And um, maybe body surfing is, is what it's called in Germany. I'm not even sure. Um, let me say, your first car living in Germany, it was a Beamer, wasn't it? Nah, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, was, what was your first car over there? I don't know what year it was, but it was a Ford Fiesta. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I heard y'all got your own Fords, but like, they ain't what we got over here. Yeah, like they, a, a I, Ford Mondo or no. a whole different type of Ford. Yeah, it was a Ford Fiesta. They don't have that model here. It's what? a small car. It's like the equivalent of like a Fiat 500. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's like that. Wait a minute. So not only are y'all looking down on us on engineering and efficiency, because Germans are known for that. Yeah. Our Fords ain't even good enough for you? <laughs> what? No. So you got to build your own. Yeah. And you know, that you know they had to get them in stick shift, so you oh, actually learn to drive over there, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So let me see. You got a, you had a Ford Fiesta. It was manual. Maybe oh. a five-speed. That, that thing was on six-speed, was it? No, it was a five-speed. Okay, five-speed. And you're on the Autobahn. What you, what you get? How many kilometers you get up to? You remember what that little thing can do? Oh, um, I don't even know. Hundred kilometers for sure. Probably a little bit more. Maybe you want. Right. Yeah. So you was getting blown over by big body Benzes uh -huh. and whatnot. For sure. When they went flying past. Yep. And then they start flashing their lights. Get out yeah. of the way. So when you when you are rocking the Ford Fiesta, are, are you good with it? You know that you ain't big money. Uh, I mean, unless your parents, you know, they was trying to prove a point to you to starting you off with the Fiesta. But like, you know, you're OK with it. You know, you're on the Autobahn, but you ain't supposed to be over in the, the left hand lane where the big boys at. Right now. <laughs> it's understood. It's understood. That's that's automatic. Not like here where they just go in the left lane for no reason, going 10 below the speed limit. And I just look at them like, are you serious right now? Insert ludicrous song. Move. Get out the way. Exactly. What are you doing over there? All right, R Rosie. I you 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 seem like a woman of of large patience because you've been obliging me to ask you these questions, but <laughs> I, I'm not done. I mean, you you lived a lifetime over there, so I got I got more. And a lot of us Americans, you know, one we don't use our vacation, and two we don't travel. We say, oh, I'm going to the Caribbean, but how many Americans you know be like, yo, I'm going to Germany, maybe Europe. But not like Germany. Yeah. So, so I need to, I got to get these out the way. Y'all got McDonald's over there, but y'all ain't doing McDonald's things. Like y'all got Fords, but it ain't doing American Ford things. Yeah. yeah so, so the McDonald's is even different. It's much healthier than it is here. Oh. They, but you know, the guidelines in Europe are way stricter than they are in the US. What do you so, mean? So the food is just healthier. I mean, it's not healthy, healthy, but it's still yeah. better than the U.S. Oh. Half the ingredients are, not illegal, are illegal in Germany, so you can't put it in there. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, now Rosie, be careful here. I know, we all know we the fattest country in the world. <laughs> it like you got the fat shade. You was about to... You was looking down your nose. I felt like you was coming off as like super German lady for a second there. Hold on, girl. Look, we need these preservatives. We need these fillers. This is what we do. But did you just tell me that there are things that we are putting in our bodies over here that are illegal back in Germany and, and parts of Europe? Yes. Oh, for that sure. don't make me feel good about myself. Oh, my God. You did. So... I think so. The last time I checked, Europe has about twelve hundred food restrictions. What? And I think the U.S. has eleven, fifteen. Oh my god! Oh my! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Now you just became the representative of, and they paying you no money. But look, 
I got to get my sweet and sour sauce. I got to get my Big Mac and the Big Mac sauce. Are those two things that you had? Oh, you already shaking the head. That- nah, those are not. Those are artificial flavors. Oh, my the meat God. Is not, the meat is not even real meat. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you ruin this for the listeners. We changed the <laughs> subject. We changed this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listeners, I'm sorry we had to go that far down the street before your boy. I, look, I'm not smart. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> for that. I went way too damn far down that road, but I don't. I don't went over to the fifth gear through my little Fiesta in reverse, and I'm, we getting out of here. <laughs> Just we contact up to 100 person, kilometers <laughs> to get out of here. <laughs> I cut off a Benz to get off that road. Forget it. Forget it. Forget that line of question. Strike that from the record, <laughs> Your Honor. All right, Rosie. Now that you're in America and you are an American, you said you go back and you visit your peeps. Yes. What is something they make fun of you about because you're all American now? I know they oh, probably uh, pick on you and be like, yo, you don't change, girl. Yeah, for sure. My sister, especially, she's like, Americans are always late for everything. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did, did she, you know what? Don't don't give me her contact info. Did, did she just say you're on APT? <laughs> yeah. American people time. Yep. Yo. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, I'm sorry, Germans, all efficient and punctual. Yo, Super it's America. Punctual. We, we are there 10 minutes prior. No, man, we, we do it big. It's America. Go big or go home and make an entrance. I know. Fashionably <laughs> late. I right. better be glad we started this podcast. No, we didn't even start the podcast. With time. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I'm just living up to it. All right. Well, look, hold on, hold on. All right. So what, what would be like one other thing? Like, okay, your style of dress. I'm sure you, oh, yeah. you started dressing like we do here in America and they clearly do things different. Yeah. What about I- that? She, does she or anybody else get on you? Yeah, I wear too, wear too many leggings. One of my friends always wears dressy pants, always dressy clothes, and she looks at me, and I'm like, I'm comfortable. I'm happy. Oh, Don't oh, judge. Me. They can't come for the leggings, Rosie. They can't come for the leggings. Oh, they this can't is... for the leggings. Oh, my gosh. Mm, hold me back, Rosie. Hold me back. <laughs> yeah. I, so. Okay. All right. I see what they're doing over there. I see what they're doing. <laughs> this, is, this is how we live. That's why they ain't got no pumpkin spice. If they like, <laughs> you know what I mean? They'd be a little more chill if they had some of the things we got. Shoot. Yeah. We coming off as basic and they probably still wearing fanny packs over there. Anyway. <laughs> I think they came back in the States though, too. Oh, your boy ain't let them. I ain't let them go. I I call it, <laughs> I call it a combat utility. <laughs> and so, you know, cause I, I wear a lot of basketball shorts, but they ain't got pockets. Oh yeah, and I gotta keep my thing things with me. I got, I need the wallet. I need, I need the cell phone. You know, they be hitting me on the head, Rosie. You know what I mean? This thing be blowing <laughs> up, be blowing up, be blowing up. But <laughs> <laughs> because of that, I need that combat action bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't forgot how I so, call it, but so so we don't even call it the fanny pack, you know, to avoid that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I bet over there it's called. Dined fur pouch up. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Jack, I'm international. I made up something and it just, she allowed it. <laughs> she felt bad for me. She's like, dang, American dude. Like, that's that's all you got? Ein, ein, zwei, drei. Oh, wow. You ready. You really Oops. ready to go back. You over there. Text Steven. Acht, neun, um, Zehn. what was that? What's 10? Zehn. Okay. All right. I, I thought I could get there. I clearly wasn't, but I appreciate the, the leg up. Did that impress you though? Yes. That's good. Especially you haven't been there in a while, right? No, it, it's been a minute. It's been yeah. a minute. Hey, y'all, man, y'all would be glad your boy would still be in Germany. And I loved Germany. I Loved it. I'd yeah. be there. Uh, Where were you? I was in. I was in Mannheim. Okay. I had a house over in Schwetzigen. Nice. Next to Heidelberg. Uh, I played American semi-pro American football while I was over there. I was uh, some of the German. I still got. Oh, you could actually read it. 
I got some German newspapers where I'm, I'm told they were talking about me. They, they called me um, Sonic the Hedgehog because uh, I was fast. I don't run over people, but I give you a little bit of that. Uh, and I'm gone. Um, so, yeah. Yo, the Ger- Rosie, let, for the listeners, why of all the places I used to play, that German grass was so beautiful and lush and green. It made you want to eat it. And I know all these little towns we went to to play American football, it's because they had a soccer team. And why has that grass got to be so pretty, girl? What? I mean, they like their, they like it nice and clean over there. I mean, you know, when you land, when you land in Germany and you breathe in, you're like, so yeah. clean. Well, well let, let me let, let me let me help the listeners out. When y'all notice, when y'all looking at soccer, sorry, Rosie, but when y'all are looking at soccer <laughs> and y'all see somebody score a goal, you see they go, they'll, they'll celebrate. They go slide on their chest. They go slide on their knees. Now you go out to your local pitch. See, I did that for you, Rosie. Mm-hmm. Y'all go to y'all's local pitch and, and just tell me without knee pads that you want to go and slide on some stuff. I'll wait. I'll wait. Nope. Let's put it in, let's put it in the comments. <laughs> so it's different. It's different over there. Um, I loved it. And and the stadiums were packed. Like, they love American football. Um, so when they found out, like, we went to a town to play. If the locals found out that there was an American football team going to come there after the game to eat, they packed the house. They, they'd show up. They want to meet Americans. Especially some of these are small towns where, yeah. like, especially Rosie. If, if you hadn't noticed, Rosie, I got a... I got a, a brown tint to my skin. What? Um, yeah, yeah. I know the lighting's messing with you. <laughs> but uh, but because of that, um, and these are off the beaten path, I just said to our listeners, ain't nobody trying to go to Germany when they could be going to the Caribbean. Now, how many brothers you know, Rosie, says, yo, I'm going to Germany. So that means the Germans don't really get to see a lot of me. They get some Africans, I heard. But mm-hmm. they don't get a lot of American brothers. So they, you know, we we different. We got little, little American oh, guys. They love, especially the women. They oh. love some African-American men over there. Yeah. They, you don't they, know. They're all over them. They So for the listeners who don't know, we're we're called, is it Chocolade? Chocolade. <laughs> Chocolade. That's what they call us. That's what they call us. We're exotic. Hey, we different. It's that swag. You, you wear that hat to the back. You, you got a little bit of sag. You're just different, man. You're just different. They, hey, this is where I lose Rosie because I'm picking on. I could just insert her high school prom picture here, but I guarantee her prom date showed up with some capris. <laughs> <laughs> the European dudes, they do it a little different than that American swag. So you know, you know, they don't do prom. prom so thankfully, we don't have prom pictures. Oh, wait a minute. You, they don't do that. Okay. Um, do you do school dances over there? No. What? What? Yo, I got it. Y'all are efficient. So, what? Okay. Um. Okay. So the high school soccer, football games are like a big thing, right? It's like Friday Night Lights equivalent. So there is no. They don't do that. They don't have teams in schools. The teams are private clubs. Oh so my you don't, gosh! Yeah. So, so yeah, how do you come together? Say what? How do you come together? Like, there's got to be a, a unifying event while you're in high school. Come on, we ain't just all about the books, Rosie. We're just all about the books. Yo, yo. Okay, well. I mean, you do have, you have theater, you have choir, you know, you have those events. No, Rosie. You have, you do have no, PE Rosie. in school, but you don't, nope. you, you don't have sporting. Like None of that, Rosie. I done broke out. Of you see, I'm looking down. I done, <laughs> I'm 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 listening to you, but I don't even want to look at you, Rosie. I'm I'm rudely cutting you off to say no. I'm, I'm disagreeing in a rude manner to let you know, <laughs> Rosie. That ain't the same. We talking. I want to go to a high school basketball game. I want to be seen. I want to look some cheerleaders. I want to. I want no. people to check me as I walk in. You can go to the local games from the you know the organizations they have outside the school, but the schools don't have. There's no school right where we. No, Rosie. No- respectfully, no, Rosie. If I take my four Fiesta five speed to a local event, a club, some rich dude, some some hair is gonna show up 
<laughs> with his Dama and his Lamborghini Kutash <laughs> and parked next to me. Like at my high school, I got a booming system in my Ford Fiesta. I'm getting at least two or three looks. At okay, the okay, okay, clubs, okay. So let me stop you right there. Okay. You don't get your license till you're 18. It costs two to three thousand dollars to get your license. So majority of students do not have a license. We take the bus or we walk to school till we graduate. I did not know that. Okay, yeah. See, this is why we're doing this, Rosie. That's why we're doing this. That is crazy. I did not know that. That wow. A bus when you like 17, 18. Unless you live in New York, like if I'm from New York, okay, got it. Got it. I don't live my life. I know public transportation, but all right, Rosie, I'm about to leave Germany, I think. Tell me, <laughs> what is your favorite city in all of Deutschland? Oof. I don't even know. Oh. oh, maybe Wiesbaden. I love Wiesbaden. I was stationed there for three years. Oh, you got to go back. Yeah. This twice. time you had money and a <laughs> driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, Wiesbaden is beautiful. It's a beautiful city. But Heidelberg, so you know Heidelberg. I grew up around there between oh. Mannheim and Heidelberg. That's why it's yeah. funny when you said that. And yeah, I, I lived in Schwetzigen. Uh, I was right down the road from that Schloss. The Schloss had a, um, they had gardens. Yep. which were in a in a maze. Let me let me help the listeners out. Sorry about that. I was I was trying to impress Rosie. <clears throat> so Schloss is a castle, and I probably <laughs> am butchering the pronunciation, but she you know she got me. She didn't correct me there. Um, <laughs> and yeah, in the gardens they had a maze, and then like there was a, a couple places off to the side where you could look down into the maze. That way, from a higher vantage point, you could take in the scenery of how beautiful, beautifully manicured they are. Rosie, I remember I was there once. I looked down at this dude. He 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 was lost in the maze. He looked one way. You could tell he started walking another way. And this dude just sat down, crisscross applesauce. And it, it looked like he was just waiting for the next person to come by <laughs> to help him out. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yo, it was. It, I love, man, I loved Germany. Okay, Rosie, I normally get to this a little bit later, but I'm, I'm going to hit you now with it. I'm going to hit you now with it. Um. And I'm not even getting to the points I want, but yo, we're gonna have her back, listeners. We gotta have her back. Rosie, um, help me understand this this little thing here. Now that you've lived there and here, mm -hmm. where do you want to retire at? <laughs> so I always said I was gonna go back, but my kids are here. And you know and? <laughs> oh, I mean. Oh, you're a loving mother. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was like, dang, you know, had them, you know, gave them life. What else you gotta give them? But all right, uh, we'll see. Maybe once they all graduated, and I'll go back for a little bit. You know, especially because my parents are still there. They're getting older. Maybe take care of them. But at the same time, I'm like, I might consider Florida, but they're going a little buck wild over there. So. Yes, ma'am. I do really like this area, DC area, because it's easy to travel to Germany or Europe, whatever. And they have lots of stuff to do here all the time. You have sporting events. All yeah. the time. I love sports. Yeah. So it is. You guys have a, a couple of, you got Dulles and you got um, Ronald Reagan. Is that the other one? Yeah. And you got BWI and they have oh. for military yeah. from there. So, your last mission, how, how long did it take you to get to Europe on your last mission? Eight hours. Ah, got her. Got her. Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? I got her. So eight hours. You, For my, uh -huh. Oh, you talking about that? Oh, my God. Uh -huh. so we annoying. got you. We got you. We got you. <laughs> I went home on vacation to see my family. No, I, I clearly said mission. <laughs> you gobble it up because you went back Look. into affirmative. Yes, my last mission was at only 800 hours, and it took me. That's military talk. We've been in the military too long. All right. Okay. I'll let you get away with that. But we ain't striking that from the record. <laughs> I done messed it up for you. See, Rosie, you got to keep a better friend. Dare I say I'm a friend. You, I'm your downfall. You're about to get kicked off 
the Delta Force, Strike Force, I whatever. See, you know, I'm trying to get my TS, and you over here. <laughs> <laughs> Ruining it. Well, Rosie, the, the, here's here's what could happen then. It looks like, you know, once you get kicked off of the 007 squad, you got to go back to Germany and, you know, just take me with you. <laughs> give me give me an old Beamer and uh, give me a cafe so I could sit out in my retirement eating a croissant. Oh, yeah. Go, go oh get God. lost on some Schloss grounds. <laughs> yeah. And give me a thousand. Get you a Belgian waffle, too. They're the best. Wait, wait. But it's Belgium. And it ain't German. Yeah, but, you know, I lived, in the, I lived in the Netherlands for two years. So. Ooh. So that part was like. I, yeah. I was going. I do. No, I won't. Nope. I'm a. I'm a nope. Yeah. I'm going to keep it classy. I'm going to. That's part two. Do we coming back? <laughs> That's part two. Okay, so Rosie, uh, let's get to the rumors. Oh. Is it true you had a soldier who was pregnant mm -hmm. and really wanted to have her husband there for their first born? And it seemed like that husband who was overseas, not doing a 007 mission, <laughs> uh, wasn't going to get. So he says. Uh, you got to watch these people. Oin Gavrit, Druzia Yizik. I said, does he speak another language? Because if he did, that would be a good little sign. Yeah. I speak a little Russian, though. So um, let's just say that he wanted to leave, and everybody was telling him, nah, you ain't going to go. So then he has to tail between his legs, tell his lady, hey, girl, you know, like I'm going to make it. <laughs> There's some other people around me. Somehow they getting to the come back. One of them outranks me and looks like he knows that he's gonna get to come back. And everybody's telling me we ain't yeah. got nothing for you. You yes. be all right. Maybe y'all have another one down the road. <laughs> Tell me when you got wind of that. Maybe she was crying in your office. Maybe she just let it slip. Maybe she was strong. What steps did you take? Because I'm gonna come back in with my version. But like, what was <laughs> going through your mind there? Well, I, she wasn't upset. She was pretty strong about it. Very, very sweet soldier. Yeah. And I just felt bad, even though, you know, she wanted to seem like, I got it. It's okay. Yeah. It's your first child. You don't want to go through this by yourself. Yes. So yes. I was like, there's got to be a way to get him home. Wait, 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 wait. You was only a captain. That's an O3. That means there's only three ranks from the bottom. You start from the <laughs> bottom and you was there. What you what you trying to put your neck out? That seemed like it a don't, strong. It don't matter. We gotta take care of people, right? Nah, you trying to win a spade's hand with like a a jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it worked. All right, it did work. <laughs> spoiler alert. But there's some, there, let, let's go back to how you turned out to be the baddest cat. So now <laughs> we see that you got bravado. And you wrote a sternly worded email. And yes. in that email, you might have said your feelings. And in your feelings, you might have said, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out. To get them, get that, that, <laughs> that dude back over here. <laughs> that email apparently ended up on someone who outranked a captain, mm -hmm. a an O5, that'd be a lieutenant colonel or light colonel, for those yep. who don't know, and then a full bird colonel's desk. They went to that soldier in a very, very disrespectful way. Oh, mad. Gosh. They they don't let this young captain get them all worked up. It's like, this captain, is this captain <laughs> calling us out saying that? That we're, uh, uh, we don't know what we're doing over here. And the soldier had to say, I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like you're reading into it a little too much. She's just saying that she knows you could pull something off. Yeah. I, I think you're reading into it. But but they was in their feelings. They, they felt were. a certain type of way that you put your finger in their chest. <laughs> <laughs> How you do that, girl? Look, you got you to gotta try, right? If you don't try, you never know the outcome. So respect. I I think we always try to just 
say, oh, that's just how it's always been or, yeah, yeah, that's just not going to work. Is it really not going to work or you don't want to even try? Ooh. So I just asked, what are the options of pass and, you know, what are the chances and what will it affect if he leaves? Ooh. Ooh. You know? Yeah, because the Army song is the Army goes rolling along. This this person did not have the rank. They was not a captain. Uh, they certainly wasn't lieutenant colonel or full bird. So you trying to tell me that? In, a, in other words, you might have even insinuated, come on, bro. He ain't that important to the mission. <laughs> you be out. So now, I didn't want to say all that. But, I mean, this it was towards the end. And it wasn't like, okay, the, 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 the army, the way the army is, things are always going to continue regardless. Yes. Stuff is going to come up. Yes. So you tell me that you cannot come home, which to me, that's an important event. Yes. The child of the birth, first, especially either any child of the birth, you know, which child was is important. But the yes. first one and your wife is, you know, all alone, scared. Yes. I mean, you got to be able to do something. We got to be able to take care of each other. So this is episode 23. Jordan used to say, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And Captain America, you took your shot. You shot your shot. You said, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going for it. You you put a scope on and took your shot <laughs> with yeah. the red dot. <laughs> Without telling my boss. So you didn't tell your boss? I mean, I told him what was going on, but I didn't tell him what I was doing. Oh, all right. So long story short, she did get promoted after that. So I don't think she ruined her career. So uh, <laughs> I don't know what you believe in, but a higher power, that, that's got to come back to you in some karmic way. Um, long story short, the, the young man was able to get back, make it to that birth. So respect, mama. That is amazing. But um, Captain America, I, I just got to know. When you look back on it, <laughs> would you do it again? Because I, I would. Took, I know you took some heat, got I some would, attention. I would one hundred percent do it again. It's okay, Rosie. You done did it once. It's if you want to say now, no, nah, I wouldn't do it again. But it does. It doesn't take off what you did. Let me let me ask you again. You sure? <laughs> I'm one hundred percent sure. Do you know why? Why? I still do stuff like that. That people will look at me like probably don't should do that. It might affect your career. Wait, what? Why? How you? But you do know, like, <laughs> as far as I, as far as I know, you ain't a general. Like you, you ain't that big of a dog. You, yeah, you're but, like a miniature schnauzer, right? Look, if what are they gonna say? They can say no. Yes. Doesn't change anything. Yeah. Or they can think about, you know, what I said, and maybe help a person out. You know. So in the case of this lieutenant colonel and colonel who, who was in their feelings and felt like you was kind of making them look bad, would, would you say that was your intent? That was not my intent. My intent was to get the soldier home. That was the only thing I had an in interest. And maybe that's my problem sometimes. I don't see, I don't think about maybe hurting other people's feelings or maybe I'm too honest. That's what I am. I'm too honest. Right. My and dad always said, if you sugarcoat, sometimes things get lost in translation. Exactly. So, and trust me, I can tell you many, many stories where people were probably like, maybe you shouldn't have said that to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you wrote a sternly worded email. Yes. Uh, is your middle name Karen? Because it sounds like <laughs> you got Karen type skills. You said, <laughs> Rosie, I see the Velez, you got, you know, German. What? How? how is it, what's the equivalent of Karen over in Germany? Is it Rosie? Is it Karen? <laughs> Renate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you have a no. middle name? Heidi. Heidi. Heidi is like the. Oh, I knew a Heidi too. Lived across the street. Yeah, she was. We called her Oma Heidi. Yeah. That's grandma for those who don't know. <laughs> she was legit. So she uh she was a German lady. She married an American soldier who came over. 
came back to America with him, lived over in like Kansas City or something. Unfortunately, he died Aww. before her. So she came back to Germany. Mm -hmm. She had a West Highland t Terrier. Uh, she had that thing on lock. This is how I learned how Germans were so serious about their dogs. So she had a beautiful garden in the back. And she had that dog trained to go out and go in one little section of the garden on like a perfectly placed mat. Nowhere yep. else. I mean, that's skills. And, yeah, yeah. Germans don't mess around with their Hunda. Hunda? Hunda. Hund. 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 One. Hund. Hunda two. Oh yeah. Hund. Hund. Hunda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I got a little bit of that. Now I gotta get I gotta get back to some heavy hitting stuff. I gotta get some heavy hitting stuff. All right, let me, <clears throat> let's get let's get serious. Let's get serious. Oh, okay. I threw the <laughs> hand up on the table, leaning into the microphone. Are you ready? I'm ready. Tell me, what are you listening to right now? As you go around the nation's capital area, what music are you bumping right now? <laughs> Actually, I listen to a lot of Christian music, believe it or not. Oh, oh man, now I'm, I'm this is that dog pause. I was like, did I say anything sacrilegious so far? No. <laughs> how many how many no. expletives have I dropped on her head already? <laughs> no. Jeez. No. I listen like especially going to work, you know. Yeah. Driving from my house to the to work. <sighs> the traffic, DC mm -hmm. traffic is horrible and to keep myself from road raging every five seconds yeah. calm listening calming you know calming yeah quiet you know music and also prepare myself for work yeah. mentally so wait, wait um you've been stationed deeper in the south yes what's your what's your read on like southern gospel music you said christian but you know, some some down home. Any any of your soldiers? Anybody ever invite you to some like Southern Baptist or some Southern gospel? Like, oh my God, I do have a story on that. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> bring it. So, you know, I grew up in Germany. Yes. Came to the states, mm -hmm. and then I joined the army, and I got stationed in Texas, Fort Hood, Texas. And my NCO actually, he would get in so much trouble nowadays. He really was like trying to get all his soldiers. He's like, come to the church. And, you know, he kind of, you kind of felt obligated to go. But he was a really <laughs> nice guy. Yeah. You know, he really was just trying to share his um, faith. Yes. And it was a Southern Baptist church. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. We're about to get Rosie shouting. Mind up in you, here. <laughs> never been to, you know, Southern Baptist church. I. Yes. Growing up, I went to um, Catholic church services, you know, very, very different, very different. And I grew up, you know, going to the Indian temples or whatever. Oh, so I go to the service and I'm just like, I don't even know what to say. Think <laughs> there's people catching the Holy Ghost that people just screaming. And I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm shocked. I was. Oh, I was so culture shocked. It was not unbelievable. And then the service just kept going and going. Yes, and I'm like, when is this going to end? It's been three hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being on APT time up in that church. Because uh, <laughs> you thought it was going to be a one hour service. Two hours later, <laughs> you still yeah. got an hour to go. <laughs> and I didn't know what it meant to catch the Holy Spirit. And I thought this. This lady was having a stroke, or I don't know. Oh, it's like, is somebody yes. gonna call nine one one or what? Yeah, what are they doing? No, People just put their hands on her, and I'm like, <laughs> she needs medical service. <laughs> Why didn't you jump in? I know they taught you some combat lifesaver stuff. <laughs> I I just didn't know. I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then yes, I learned. Yeah. Like, I wish somebody would have given me a warning. Yeah, you're right about that, which doesn't happen. No, that doesn't. We like we got to do better, listeners. You got to do better. Look, and you know you got that one friend, and they ain't never been, and you taking them, help them out. You yeah, to, you about to put them in shock. But this is how mean I was. 
my sister and a friend of my hers came to visit. So yeah. I was like, okay, you guys get to experience what I experienced. You know, they Whoa. came from Germany. <laughs> you, said, you, you took them. I took them. No warning. Yo. Okay. I, now, she was looking down her nose already at some American type stuff. What, what was What was like the quick reaction of your sister? I mean, pretty similar to yours or? Yeah. And they're like, what are they doing? <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, yeah, wow. and I think we left early because they just were like, we're done. <laughs> they won't go do the three. No. <laughs> missed it. Hey, that means y'all also missed maybe the second or third collection plate. Y'all missed that, though. Y'all missed yeah, that. Yeah, probably. So There might have been a meal at the end it, it, uh, it, with some illegal contents that you can't get in Germany. <laughs> you know, there, there, was, there was Deacon Harris on the side said, hey, girl, I heard you from Germany. I got I got them yams over here. I know y'all can't get it like that over there. I got them yams over here at the service. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was it was it was interesting for sure. So okay. Coming to America, seeing that we celebrated Thanksgiving. What was your read on that? Because I'm sure y'all ain't got nothing like that over there, right? No, we don't. Okay. And I, I really like. I don't understand some of the history on it. So when I first came, I was just like, you know, I'm just going to do what everybody does. So yes, we celebrated. But then, and you know, you get older and you start reading the history. I'm just like, why are we celebrating this again? Thank you. Yeah. Now, you, your first answer was the answer we all got. We don't know what we're doing with it. First <laughs> of all, we're supposed to be saying Native Americans. Right. Uh, you you got on, I think you said Indian. And, uh, I'm that, Indian. That's yes, that's and what you I, said. That's what you said. That's... That's an Indian. That's literally who who Christopher Columbus was supposedly looking for. And then, yes, to the other point, Rosie, you can't find something that's already been found. <laughs> I yeah. mean, there's people already living there. You can't say I found that. You can't. You can't exactly. You can't do that. Um, and then, yeah, yeah the, the the pilgrims th they came here, and uh, we do know that the Native Americans helped them out a lot, and and then they enough. killed them running wild with rampant disease that they brought from 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 Europe that the Native Americans hadn't had yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's yeah, it, it's it's horrible. But but underneath all of that, we're giving thanks for whatever we have in our life. And I will get behind that to push yes. for someone who may not understand it. I try not to go. I have a lot of international friends. I don't even get into the history. I just say, no, no, literally. What does the word say? We giving thanks. It's Thanksgiving mm -hmm. for what we got because we know it so, can be worse. That's how we celebrate it at my house now, too. It's just we're, we're thankful for everything we have, for what we we okay. cook, we sit together. It's the company of being with each other, having the family. Wait, hold on now. Hold on now. What it, something just Wait a minute. How, how many kids you got, Rosie? <laughs> now, when it is time for Thanksgiving to roll around and your mama from Germany, do we have to eat with mom or can we go over to Miss Jenkins' house? Because mama, she trying to give us some old German Thanksgiving with with uh, with a uh, without banned chemicals and preservatives and fillers. <laughs> like, what, when did you when did you try to or at this point have you Americanized what you as we say? Your spread, have you Americanized what you be putting on that table? I have, yeah. Oh. I have. And I I I, I enjoy some of it. <laughs> Not all. But it. I also I didn't grow up on German food. I grew up on Indian food. Oh. Strict vegetarian. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So I was so this is how you have to see though, my history, right? Yes. I grew up between Heidelberg and Mannheim in a really small town in yes. Germany. I, you know, I, we were the only brown family. Whoa. Yeah. We were Indian, you know, my mom wore sometimes the Indian traditional clothing and stuff. Oh, so she definitely. Yeah. We step out. <laughs> That's a lot of colors for the Germans. So people always say, oh, you're German. I never felt like I'm German. Because yeah. when you were growing up, in Germany, a small town, being the only brown person there. Yes. You were not German. You were you the were brown out, kid. 
You you was an Auslander? Yeah. You were the you were the Indian. You Indian. Yeah. You're always Indian. But then you go to India and they're like, you're not Indian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, people be fickle. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you're right about that. So maybe right that's why that. I felt more comfortable in the States because you kind of have more diversity. Yeah. And I don't know. There was just, there was a lot of racism growing up and I never realized till I got older. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah. When, and I was it, bullied in like fifth and sixth grade. I remember that dang. pretty bad by these two guys and they would call me all kinds of names. And, you know, I have different features, so. Yeah. Which nowadays, I feel like, yeah, you wish you had that. Oh, it's it's embraced. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's embraced. It's embraced. So, like, you that, know. That, that's selfie worthy. Of, people <laughs> made fun of my lips because I had bigger lips. People uh -huh. made fun of my shape because I was never, I was never skinny like, you know, German girls are. Yeah. So, that's the kind of stuff where I'm like, hmm. Yeah, now you got fillers and a butt lift. That that's exactly I was well I won't I won't gonna ask about the, the butt, but since you brought it up, so so that's that's all you right there, them lips that ain't you no know, no no college and no Botox oh, no. on no, one of your I secret missions when you were over in Definitely. Italy, you, you slipped into <laughs> a little Italian salon, got some no. work done. No, I have okay. no work done. I would not do that. That's okay. chemicals. Again, I'm I'm against chemicals, Botox. Lip fillers, all that stuff. I wouldn't do it. Rosie, it ain't cracking. You holding it together nicely, though. So well done. Well done. Hey, <laughs> I you. guarantee you the two bully boys, Franz and 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 Johan, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> hey, just pull up a couple pics. I guarantee you they look in every bit of what some young buck would be like. Because, you know, when the young bucks, they ask you like, hey, how do you? Hey, yeah, you look good for, you know, for 35. And you're like, dang, what's 35 supposed to look like? <laughs> I bet them boys. I bet them boys look thirty-five. I bet they look it. That's what they get. Yeah. That's that karmic return I keep talking about. Yeah, it's not, I'm not worried about it. They were so mean, and I think I mean one of them. He came around, and All right, like, so he then, changed. The other one, I don't know what happened to him. Well, we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. <laughs> All right. That, oh, okay. So this is this is the hard part. I got to cut. Okay. That's, it ain't that hard because I know I gotta I gotta bring you back. You know what the okay. bad thing is, Rosie? When I have such a good time like this, um, if I have a hard time with another guest, they're, they gonna look back at their video and they're gonna look at your video and be like, "Dang, man, he seemed like he was enjoying her a little more than me." <laughs> What's wrong with me? But hey, that's for them to figure out. I enjoyed you, R to the V, but I still got one or two more things I gotta do on the way out. Okay. Captain America, what is the most egregious thing a person can do that sets you off? Dishonesty. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if what if uh what if what if it's a little small, little white lie? Like I didn't want you to know that your shirt I was not it was too wrinkly fake people oh. that to me is like i don't care if it's a white lie i don't care like don't yes. to be something you're not yes Speak i cannot on. and i see that so much at work i see it so much and i'm i'm just like that's how you gotta do it actually a friend of mine told me once because i was like yeah i don't know if i'm gonna get promoted to you know it be, yeah. it becomes so political the higher you go right I'm like, I just cannot be fake. Like, I cannot sit there and kiss somebody's butt. I'm just not that person. Yes. But I to play the game. So it's my friend, she's like, just just try, just do it, you know. It's gonna help you. You get that top block on your eval. Yes. And I tried and it was just like, it was like killing me inside. <laughs> and she's like, that's just not me, you know what? And that's when, I put a lot of things into faith and maybe that's why I listen to a lot of Christian music. And yeah. I, I had a meeting with my senior raider and he was just like, what do you think you deserve? And I told him, shut up. I was like, you give me what you think I deserve. 
I'm not here to fight. I'm not trying to impress you. I know I work hard. I know I try to take care of my people. And that to me is in everything that matters. Yeah. So the rest, God got it. He'll give me what I, you know, give me what I deserve, what I need, what I'm meant to do. Yeah. So I have faith. If I'm meant to get promoted, I will get promoted. I don't care what your Eva says. There's a higher power than you. Yes. Yeah. Keep it real, Rosie. That's what she's saying, y'all. <laughs> Keep it in one. I, I got to. I got to be authentic. That comes back to you, too. People, people see, and they come back to you, and they say, you know what? I appreciate you being a breath of fresh air as the, as a real one. Yeah. That we, we do like those people. So um, I, when I told my boss, when I told my senior reader that he kind of was like taken back and he's like, this is the most un, uh, honest answer I've ever gotten. See? And I we don't. like it. We know <laughs> we like it. Sometimes we don't like it. Like if I say, Yo, Rosie, this is a this is a new. I don't know how to say it in in uh, German. Pijak is no how I say it. How do I say new jacket blazer in German? Yaka. Yaka. Oh, yaka. Okay. Yaka. So if it's a new yaka, what you think? And if you say, man, it's a little snug, or <laughs> it ain't, it's ill fitted. I don't want to hear that, but I need you to tell me that so I don't go out and end up a meme. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? It's like you, you want, you want you to say people me. to talk him behind your back and be like, oh, look at that. I can see no. that roll on his back. No. You Help know? me out. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. It was a hypothetical, Rosie. You, <laughs> I didn't say it was tight and I got rolls showing out as I'm looking down I'm for not those who are on YouTube. I'm just, I'm just going with your scenario. I'm not saying ah, you do. okay. Well, let's get off the scenario. Oof. You're keeping it a little too real. You're about to hurt me. Rosie, I said I used to be amazing when i lived in germany that's not that's not the now time like i i used to be sonic the hedgehog i'm <laughs> i'm like turtle the, the turtle the turtle now I, it's okay uh, i can't mm, man we you what we used to be all right i always ask and i i need to know who is the most interesting person in your life and what will you do to help me get them on this podcast. Oof. In my life, the most interesting person. I have a lot of people that are interesting. Oh. But, then that means you can't make a wrong answer. But I, I'm going to need you to tell me somebody. And then you have to tell me, what were you going to do to help me get them on the podcast? <laughs> I mean, I can just ask people and i'm sure they're willing to share that of course stories. you're captain america and you probably have a truth serum already set up hey do do you have your cyanide thing in right now or you took it out <laughs> already tonight it's still there of course I, I, listen see y'all we got it again <laughs> rosie you may not be a good spy okay? no I, I know i'm good but i may not be that good because i've tricked you a couple times here true <laughs> But I do have a friend who has a very interesting military career. Oh. Um, who went through a lot. Uh -huh. And I love listening to his stories. And I don't know if he would be willing to. It's a lot. It's heavy. Yeah. But he likes to talk. He likes to be social. He likes to keep very caring person. Yeah. I'm hey, pretty sure we, he would. We could shoot that shot. Yeah. I'm talking to Captain America. Can't nobody, you and your shield, what, what's going <laughs> to hurt me? I'm going to get behind yeah. you in the shield, though, if that's all right, because, you know, <laughs> you are Captain America. Like, I, I'm I'm paper thin. But you, you got the shield and everything. No, you may, I'm not that, like, the people need to know I'm not all that. <laughs> Rosie, they heard the story. How many people, how many people shoot up? Nobody, because they scared. They are I'm, scared. Yeah, literally, yeah. I, I'm not trying to offend anyone listening, but if your heart pumps Kool-Aid, it's cool. You are in the majority because the minority are people like you, Rosie, who, who see a situation and they run to it. Man, it sounds like an army commercial. Like you ain't scared. <laughs> you ain't. Bone Crusher said he never scared. Rosie said, Rosie Crusher, she said she ain't <laughs> never scared. I'm I'm down for this. I'm going to put my dukes up. I'm going to throw a punch because it might knock somebody out. 
Yeah. And then you heavyweight champion of the world. And you are the heavyweight champion of the world. Captain America, <laughs> thank you very much. This thank you. was awesome. It was fun. And you and I both know there is plenty more we ain't even get to yet. So <laughs> we barely scratched the surface. Oh, I know. I know. And I think when, when the listeners, your circle, my circle hear it, I'm sure I'll get in the comments. When's part two? We coming back. That's a threat, Rosie. <laughs> I no, no, I no, I don't think I well, hmm. I do have your phone number. Yeah, that's a threat, Rosie. You haven't heard the last of me. All right. <laughs> but thank you very much. And so much have a great me. rest of the day. And and uh go Deutschland. Yep. <laughs> All right. You have a good night. Thanks. You too. <laughs> Bye.